వెల్కమ్ టు ఆల్ ద పీయూసీ సెకండ్ ఇయర్ స్టూడెంట్స్ టుడే లెట్ ఆర్ స్టడీ ది చాప్టర్ నెంబర్ త్రీ దట్ ఈజ్ ప్రొడక్షన్ అండ్ కాస్ట్ ఇన్ ప్రొడక్షన్ అండ్ కాస్ట్ టుడే లెట్ ఆర్ స్టడీ ది ఆల్రెడీ వీ హ్యావ్ స్టడీడ్ ది చూజ్ ది కరెక్ట్ ఆన్సర్స్ నో లెట్ ఆర్ స్టడీ ది ఫిల్ ఇన్ ద బ్లాంక్స్ ఫర్ ఫైవ్ మార్క్స్ దేర్ ఆర్ ఫైవ్ questions are uh, given you have to fill the gap there are five questions are given these five questions are very important for examinations and you have to understand and keep remember till the examinations these five questions are uh, i will read the and you have to think the what is the answer for that question fill in the blanks each question carries one marks in the long run all inputs are dash in the long run all inputs are dash you mean that all the inputs are variable or fixed or uh, whatever that may be you think of that or fixed or variable and a dash is the defined as the output per unit of variable input that is Uh, marginal product or average product or uh, fixed or output whatever that can be you have to uh, think of uh, that one and uh, third question is marginal product and average product curves are what are the shape of marginal product and the average product or u shape or inverse uh, shape whatever that the shapes you have to mention and uh, the fourth question is smc curves cuts the avc curves at the dash point of the avc or maximum point or the minimum point minimum point or the maximum point you have to fill the gap of the fourth question the last question is dash is the set of all the possible combinations of the two inputs that yield the same maximum possible level of output already i told you the what you isoquant curves the isoquant curves the indicates is the set up all the possible combinations of the two inputs give the same level of output is called the isoquants you have to fill the gap the these uh, five questions your answer should be correct and you have to clear it fill in the blanks first question is in the long run all inputs are dash in the long run all the inputs are dash it means that all the in the sh- long run all the inputs are dash already i told you in the short period all the inputs are cannot variables in the short period in the long run in the long run in the long run all inputs are variables the answer is the answer is in the long run all inputs are variable very variable 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 in the long run all the inputs are variable in the long run all the inputs are variable and second question is dash is defined as the output per unit of variable input is called as the is called as the average product it is called as the average product ap is the average product is the defined as the output per unit of variable input which product average product average average product is the defined as the output per unit of variable input and uh, third question is marginal product and average product curves are you indicates the shape of the marginal product and the average product in the uh, which shapes 
the marginal product and the average product curves are inverse inverse u shape inverse 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 u shape inverse u shape inverse u shape it means that u shape like this uh, uh, all the like this the amc or uh, uh, m is the marginal product mp and ap mp and ap like this marginal and average product marginal product and the average product curve are the inverse u shape inverse u shape and the fourth question is smc curves i smc curves cuts the abc smc curves cut the abc curves at the point of abc the, the this gap is filled the maximum or minimum in this curves smc curves cuts the abc curves curves smc curve cuts the abc curves at the minimum point at the minimum minimum smc curves cuts the abc curve at the minimum point of abc once again fourth question is smc smc means short run marginal cost curves cuts the abc curves at the minimum point of abc in the last question is dash is the set of all the possible combinations of the two inputs that yield the same maximum possible level of output it means that the isoquant curves isoquant iso quant q u a n t isoquant isoquant curve isoquant curve is the set of all possible combinations of the two inputs that yield the same maximum possible level of output it is called as the isoquant so you have to fill the gap of correct with correct answers and you will get the five marks this is this is very important questions in the examinations once again fill in the blanks in the long run all inputs are variable keep remember in the long run all inputs are variable ap is the ap is defined as the output per unit of variable input ap is the defined as the output per unit of variable input number 3 marginal product and the average product curves are the inverse u shape and fourth question is smc curve cuts the abc curve at the minimum point of abc curve from below below and uh, last question is isoquant curve is the set up all the possible combinations of the two go to inputs that yield the uh, same maximum possible level of output it is called as the isoquant curves so these are the very important questions fill in the blanks you have to keep remember and uh, be ready to answer in the examinations and uh, don't forget to for uh, don't forget to watch my video and uh, subscribe it as soon as subscribe it so these questions will help in examinations of number of examinations like net set and police and sda apdc and sdc or sda apda and kpsc and upsc etc thank you one and all